Okay, this is an update to the solar hot water heater installation I did a couple of years ago. What happened was um, we had a really dull, cloudy, wet spring. Um, and as we headed into summer, I needed to go away for a couple of days. So I was away uh, down London for a couple of days and we had the two hottest days of the year out of the blue. Uh, well, what it basically did was blow up the solar panel, it uh, overheated the water um, and when I came back there was, it had burst the tank, um, it was spraying water all out of the header tank inside the dome, it was a right mess to be honest. So uh, this video is going to be how I redesign and refabricate it um, so it doesn't happen again. This is what's uh, left of the tank. You can see if we look at the camera in there, all, it's all buckled and uh, broken. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to make a, a new manifold. The uh, evacuated tubes are fine. I'll just need to uh, make a new design a new manifold and uh, we'll do that in SketchUp and take a look at that now. Right here, we're in SketchUp now. And uh, we can take a look at uh, the new design. I'm going to take this opportunity to redesign the original um, setup to work a bit better. It had a big round tank on the, on the top here and it was made out of quite thin stainless steel. Uh, that's why it buckled when it overheated. Uh, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to uh, I'm going to have uh, leave in places to... Uh, put some sensors so if it goes over temperature the heat and pump will start up. Uh, also I'm going to um, make it so it can be turned off. You can you can cover it over when you go away so that if it does get sunny and hot it's not going to uh, ex well, blow up like the last time or overheat the water and it, it basically turned the water into steam. Uh, right so uh, this is the new manifold. I'm going to make this out of um, steel. This will be box section steel with uh, some flanges welded on. There's 18 um, solar tubes in all and two end plates welded on. From there we're going to um, put some radiator hose on each one and then we're going to insert the solar tubes into those radiator hoses. So this is the new manifold where the old round tank was uh, and the radiator hose and that are just a simple way of connecting um, the solar tubes into it. I've got uh, all the solar tubes are fine. A lot of the um, old bits and pieces I can reuse. So it's, it's, it's basically just going to cost me the price of making this here. Uh, the, the top will be insulated obviously like the other one and it'll have a frame that goes against and a base there uh, to hold the pipes steady. So there's my measurements. I've measured all my thing and I just have to make this in the workshop. Now the, the, uh, another feature is that, um, let's have a look here, I'll select that, is that uh, This is designed to tilt, so it'll tilt up. It lies flat against the dome wall, and when you want to use it, you tip it up like this, and you can change the angle in summertime. A steeper angle works better in summertime, but you can also tilt tip it right up to here, uh, and there's a drain plug. So have a look here, a better look at that. There's a drain plug that'll drain all of the solar tubes. So it'll all run out into the and out the drain so that I can empty it because I don't use uh, chemicals to uh, and antifreezes in this system. It's just clean water, and I will need to drain it in the winter time because you get no pretty pretty much no use, no warm um, air out of a. Uh, out of it, so uh, what am I saying? Uh, 
uh, water. You won't get any hot water in winter from about September through till February or March. So it's drained in the winter so it doesn't uh, break with frost. Um, put that back. So that's kind of the, the uh, design parameters. It's got a tilt, it's got to have a strong tank, it's got to be drainable and um, there'll also be a cover that covers it uh, so I can have it turned off and not in use. Uh, so that's the design. All we've got to do now is uh, start making it.
Well that's it for this update. Uh, I won't put the solar tubes in or any of the piping and I certainly won't put water in till uh, maybe February or early March 2018. So if you want to see that subscribe and I'll update that in spring next year. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.